welcome back to my channel it is lynette j here and since you already clicked on this video don't forget to go like and subscribe so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video so as y'all can see that the video started fast forwarding i'm doing nothing but putting edge control on my edges and laying my edges back for the ball cap that you will see me install later on in the video and as i show the product in the video i'm using the edge effect master collection and it's just an edge control that i use on my edges whenever i need to do my edges or whatever and it's really good so make sure you go get some edge control that's really gonna work because my hair is very thick and now i'm going in with some got to be glue in the black bottle because I like to use that to um, put extra hold on my edges so my edges can stay in place for the ball cap method. Because we put a wig on and we don't want our edges to get snatched. So yeah. So go ahead and put you some edge control and some got to be glue on your edges. So your edges can be laid and secured. So now I'm really going in with some hair oil or like hair growth oil because I don't know how long I'm going to keep this wig in. So I want to make sure my hair is moisturized and you know getting some type of moisture in and while I got a wig on I won't want my hair to grow underneath. So now you're going to grab you some alcohol. I grab some 70% alcohol. It doesn't really matter what kind of alcohol you decide to use but we're just going to do nothing but clean our forehead and you know get all that extra edge control or got to be glue that we put on our forehead because that's where we're going to be placing our wig cap in our lace. So now we're going to go in with our wig cap. Um, I like to use the beige color, but it doesn't really matter what color you use. And so we're just going to put that on our head and, you know, adjust it and make sure it's measured right to our liking. Okay, so now that we have the wig cap on and ready to go, we're just going to get my freeze by spray and we're just going to spray where my hairline is just so that's where we're going to be cutting out our ball cap. And I like to um, go in with a little bit first. I like to do layers and, you know, not drown the wig cap because that take longer for it to dry. So just go in with layers and then go... One at a time and then spray the perimeter, then blow dry, then spray again. That would be the best thing for you to do if you're not really used to doing ball cap methods. So this is a very important step when it comes to you doing a ball cap. You want to make sure you cut out the ear so you know you won't have any lifting on your wig or anything else. So you want to make sure you cut a small hole. You don't want to have the hole too big or it will be too big for your ears and it won't fit the perimeter of your ears. Now you want to take one step at a time with the um, layers with the freeze blast spray. Like I said, you want to make sure that first layer is almost dried or completely dried before you go in with the second layer just so it won't take too long for your ball cap to dry and then you'll be sitting there waiting for your ball cap to dry when you could be cutting it out and almost installing your wig so i'm just going with the blow dryer you don't have to sit under a dryer like i said the layers will help the um, cap dry a little bit faster so we can just go in with the blow dryer so now i'm going in with this lace tint y'all this is my favorite product when it comes to me doing 
ball cap methods or you know just putting makeup or any color tint on my lace and so as you can see I made a face because um, I ran out like it wasn't coming out so um, I was just trying to put on the brush so I can you know make it spread but it was not coming out and I was really upset so now I just had to go in with some makeup this is um, a makeup or a foundation that I use on my everyday makeup routine so I actually use it on my face and so I just had to make this work um I really don't like using makeup because um some makeup has a lot of oils and is very much liquidy being the lace tint but that was the only thing I had and I had to work with it so I just went in put it on the brush and you know make sure it was blended in right <laughs> So now that the foundation is blended on the cap, I'm just going in, cutting the rest of the extra wig cap that we don't really need. And so this is also a very important step that you should also pay attention to because I know a lot of people struggle with this step. So I'm doing nothing but cutting that extra cap that's, you know, lifting. So wherever you see that beige color, you need to cut that off because it's not laid properly and it's not going to stick down. And you don't want that to show when you put your wig on. So you want to make sure you go in and try to get as much as you can. show when you get ready to lay your lace or your wig down 
and then you go back in with your cotton ball with your alcohol and you clean up that extra foundation that is a very important step and if you don't do this then you will cause early lifting on your lace and your wig will not last so it should come out looking something like this or something similar to like that So here is the wig, you know, I'm just looking at how it will look once I get ready to lay it down. So I got this hair from the beauty supply store. If you live in my area, you should know uh, a hair store called Supreme and I got these bundles from there, but I will make sure to leave all the information down in the description box because this hair is fire, like it's bomb. So now that I'm going in with my bow hole, I'm just going to put little dots and I'm going to go in sections. So I'm going to get my rat tail comb and I'm going to make sure I flatten out that glue very, very evenly. You want to make sure it's flattened out because you do not want any chunks of glue because it will take longer for it to dry. So like we mentioned before, you want to take your time and go in with layers. So when it comes to using boho, it's best to go in with three to four layers, depending on how much of a hole you want. So I went in with three layers, and like I said, just going in with sections, going with little dots, and I make sure I flatten that out every time I do a layer. So when using a rat tail comb, I like to go in with a cotton ball filled with alcohol so I can clean off the rat tail stick every time I go in with a different layer so you won't have packed dry glue on a stick and that can actually mess up you trying to lay out the glue. So when applying the glue, you want to make sure that you do have the glue on top of the ball cap, but you want to have the glue placed at least one or two inches in front of the ball cap because that's where you will be placing your wig or your lace. So now we're just going to place the lace on top of the glue and since this is an old wig and I've already installed this wig before I just placed the lace in front of the glue because there's going to be some lace that I'll be cutting off that I feel I wouldn't need so once you place the lace on top of the glue you want to make sure you comb the hair or the lace into the glue but don't press too hard but just comb thoroughly so you can get that little effect that you will want and then you can just go in with your blow dryer and I like to put it on hot and then when I feel like the lace is melted enough then I go in with cool it just basically helps with the um, glue like I feel like it warms up the glue and then once you're done with the meltdown, you put it on cool and it locks. 
the lace into the glue. So now that you can see that I went on the other side, and I'm basically doing the same thing I did in the print. So I'm going to just let y'all watch me. Because it's, I mean, once you see me do the first part, it's basically self-explanatory. Just go in, do my three layers, and wait till it turns clear, and just apply the lace.
So now that we're done with the installing part, I'm just sectioning out the front of my wig because this is the section that I'll be cutting out. And this is also the section that I didn't lay down. So if you see like some lift ups, that's the part that I'll be cutting out. But before I do all of that, I'm just gonna braid them little sections and we're gonna put an elastic band on to help with the meltdown. Um, if you don't know where to get an elastic band from, you can go to your arts and crafts store like Joann's or you can just go to your um, beauty supply store. I'm pretty sure um, beauty supply stores have them. That's where I got mine from. But it just depends on what kind of elastic band you're looking for. So now that we wait on that, we're just going to go ahead and style our hair. So when it comes to wigs or natural hair, I like to use the Chic Silk Infusion. It's a really good oil. It helps with, you know, the hydration of your hair and it gives you that shine that your hair should have. I'm pretty sure most of y'all know how to flat iron, but I got this flat iron from Target and it's from Revlon. And I will make sure to leave all that information down in the description box so y'all can just go in store or go online and just order it yourselves. Okay, so boom, we're done with the elastic band. We're done styling our hair. 
So now all we gotta do is just cut off the extra lace. So when it comes off with cutting the lace off, I like using a razor, but I was kind of having a hard time cutting it off because my razor wasn't as new. So I will say rack up on some razors because the better or the newer the razor, the better your wig will come out looking. So when cutting your lace over a razor or with scissors or anything you like using, it's best to go in a zigzag motion so you won't get that wig look effect. You don't want your hairline to be looking all straight like a regular wig. You want to make it look like it's your normal hairline. So make sure you go in zigzag motions and you should be able to achieve that scalp look. So one thing I will say about this frontal, I will say I didn't really like the material on the lace. Um, it was trans, it was a transparent lace, but the material was a little bit on the thicker side, and that's just something I'm not really used to working with. So you should always be concerned about you know thicker laces. I'm going in with some free splash spray to help melt the lace a little bit better and then I'll just spray it in front of my hair to you know swoop them edges back because I wasn't sure if I want to actually lay down some edges because I was also in a rush of doing my hair but y'all will see everything that I do later on the video so I'm gonna just let y'all watch
okay so basically this is the finished look yeah this is the turn hello yeah so my camera literally went dead again so uh like yeah this is kind of the finished look i've been sweating a little bit or whatever yeah and i just got back um i just got back from where i was at and um yeah i was rushing so i did not like so yeah and plus i'm tired so it's just like so it was just like, yeah. And my camera just went there. I tried to come back and film and like show y'all the finished look. But yes, my camera died. But thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to go like and subscribe. And leave me a comment down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.